الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد um, The question is asking here um, some advice on dealing with difficulties and stress and worries and anxieties and bad news uh, The answer to this Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran is that when they are fixed with a musibah قَالُوا إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ they say this supplication to Allah, we belong unto Him, we shall return. أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَوَاتٌ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَرَحْمَةٌ Upon them will be praises from Allah and a rahmah. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُحْتَدُونَ And they will be people that will be guided out of that way of difficulty. But <coughs> saying, إِنَّ لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ is what a person should say when they are initially afflicted. And there are other things that a person can say and do whilst they are being tested. And from them is to increase in La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Increasing in saying La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Fa innaha min kunuz al-jannah. It is from the treasures of Jannah. In another hadith, uh, he said Allah udulluk ala bab min abwaab al-jannah. That it is a door from the doors of Jannah. And a door from the doors of Jannah is La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah In another hadith he says Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Innahunna min kunuz tahta al-arsh It is from the treasures which belong underneath the arsh Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah He said saying La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah Lihadhi al-kalima ta'thinun qawim Fi daf adda Al-ham Al-gham Al-huzn uh, saying la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah has an effect, an amazing effect in repelling illnesses, in repelling sadness and grief and anxieties. Lama fihi min kamal tafweed because when you say la hawla wa la quwwata illa billah you are completely attributing all goodness and all change to Allah. La hawl meaning there is no might, la quwwah, meaning there is no power, except with Allah. Others from the ulama have said la hawl, meaning there is no change. Wa la quwwah, and no ability for me to change my affairs, except through Allah. Ibn Qayyim, rahimahullah, is saying here, when a person increases in la hawl, wa la quwwata illa billah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will facilitate for this person's affairs, and it's from the kunz, from the corners of Jannah is for a treasure from the treasures of Jannah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He rectifies the affairs of all of the Muslims wherever they may be. Allahu Akbar.